Water is one of our most precious natural resources. It's fundamental to the economic health and quality of the life of the state of Connecticut. Like many aspects of planning and development in Connecticut, we invest large amounts of time and effort and duplication of efforts in how we administer, plan, and oversee our water resources. This fragmentation in our decision and rulemaking results in weaker long-term outcomes a proliferation of decision makers at multiple levels limits the ability to effectively respond to changing growth and development patterns and inhibits accountability for the management of this critical resource. As state legislators, it is our duty to plan responsibly on behalf of our citizenry. We do for, so for our schools, our transportation, our emergency preparedness, and for our public health. However, we lack a meaningful plan for an asset that permeates all aspects of our life, our water. In October, we convened the first ever Connecticut Water Summit, bringing together major stakeholders, many of whom are in the room today, legislators, agency representatives, environmentalists, academics, business leaders, providers, and municipal leaders. We had a vibrant dialogue, a dynamic exchange of information and ideas and found common ground, leaving that gathering ever more committed to crafting a plan for the supply, distribution, quality, protection, conservation, and administra administration of our water supply. When completed, this plan will address infrastructure, energy, public health, environment, land use, agriculture, economic development, business, manufacturing, municipalities, schools, universities, fishing, recreation, and emergency planning. Today, we advance our cause by establishing subcommittees that will meet and study specific areas and report back with recommendations that could be incorporated into legislation in the 2014 session. The subcommittees are as follows. Supply and Distribution Subcommittee, chaired by myself and Representative Mashinsky. Quality Protection and Conservation Subcommittee, chaired by Representative James Albus and Representative Jonathan Steinberg. And the last committee, the third committee, is Administration, Infrastructure, and Oversight. Representative Rojas and Representative Phil Miller will co-chair. I'm so grateful that these outstanding leaders standing be beso beside me and behind me have stepped up to help this leading, uh, this exciting initiative. They each bring to us to table a unique skill set, perspective, experience, and talents. And I'm also grateful for the other legislators today who have joined in their commitment to this effort, State Representative Betty Bocas and Representative Mike D'Amico, who has joined, joined us here as well. We certainly have the brain power, tools, and resources, and the will to get this done. Special thanks to Representative Mary Mashinsky. I call her the godmother of water, who has been a leader on this issue for, for many, many years. And her experience and expertise is invaluable. I'm also grateful to the governor to the Speaker of the House and the Majority Leader for their support as we begin this effort. And of course, thank you to the stakeholders, all of you in this room that have returned to the Capitol to serve on these subcommittees and conduct the work that needs to be done. It's so important to have diversity of talent and expertise, and this is exactly what we have here today. I want to give special recognition to the members of the Water Planning Council, led by Jack Bikoski. These folks are already doing the hard work and great work in addressing issues involving water utilities, water resources, and uh, future water supply. Our intent here is only to be able to enhance and strengthen their dynamic efforts. So thank you for joining us. I'm excited to get started.